Hey guys, so here are the supplies that you're going to need for this lesson. And I have given you several examples of Lisa's work for you to kind of draw inspiration from. You're going to choose some scrap paper to begin with. And you're going to start cutting and making shapes. You can look at those examples um, to see what kind of shapes you might want to use. You can mix and match. You can do just one of those examples if you want to. Or you can take parts of each one. You're going to trace it onto your paper very lightly with a pencil. And then cut it out with the scissors that I've provided for you. Um, in this video, I'm using a glue stick to put all my pieces on. Well, y'all, that did not work out well. It, um, a lot of the pieces started to come off, and so I had to go back and glue them with liquid glue. So I've put the glue cups at your desk with the, um, brushes. So you're going to do a dot around the edges, uh, around the edges. Do not paint the entire back of your piece. You don't need that much glue. And you're going to start putting your collage together on your big piece of construction paper. I like to t make all my pieces, put them on my paper like a puzzle, arrange them first, and then I start to glue them down. So that might be something you want to do. Because what if you think, oh, I've got it, but then this one piece just will not fit. So I arrange them first, then I start to glue them down. So I let some of my pieces kind of hang off the edges and I'm gonna trim those up. I'm gonna rub the back so that my collage pieces are really stuck. Then I'm gonna use my paint markers to add pattern and line to my collage. Now, am I coloring in solid pieces? No. Am I adding detail and texture and layering color and pattern? Yes. But I am not painting in large sections of my collage. That's what the big paper and scrap paper is for. So, if I catch you painting in something, are you going to get to use my paint pens anymore? Hmm? So, after I've added all of my texture and my lines with my paint pen, I'm going to finish it up. I'm going to add my little bird here because that's the one I chose to do. Um, and I didn't want to get any paint on my little white bird. So, after you've finished your entire collage, and you're happy with it, I want you to upload it to Artsonia. Once you've uploaded, I want you to turn these into your day box. If you have any drips of glue, I want you to use a paper towel to clean that up. And I can't wait to see what these inspirational quotes look like. I think they're gonna be fantastic. 